Now, he's been DS Lisa Swain's number one suspect since Lauren's disappearance from the cobbles. And tonight, we will finally see Roy Cropper charged with her murder. Lauren Bolton, two weeks ago, I reported her missing. Now I think she's dead. That was the landlord from the precinct flat. Apparently, it's been left in a terrible state. I will come and clean the flat. That was a dump. Thanks for asking. Stains everywhere. What kind of stains? Well, I don't know. It could have been paint, red wax, blood. Do you reckon that's blood? Yeah, it could well be. Roy Cropper, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the murder of Lauren Bolton. Why did he clean the flat? Exactly. It just didn't Why? help the story, did it? Vicky Myers, who of course plays DS Lisa Swain, you're going to give us a bit of an insight here, aren't you? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, unless there's some crazy, bizarre set of events that's about to kick off, Roy is an innocent man. Well, you know, you certainly know how to make me feel welcome here, yes, don't you? Yes, we All do. These Roy Cropper is well, innocent. Well, is he? Is he an innocent man? Well, as far as I'm concerned right now, there is, no, there is no body to begin with right now. Doesn't necessarily mean to say he's innocent. There's a whole litany of evidence against him. You know, he's been into the flat, like you said, he's cleaned up. He was meticulous with that. He um, washed Lauren's bed sheets. He gave her more money than she was owed. So, um, and then he backtracked on his story because he was saying that he wore rubber gloves the whole time he was cleaning the flat. And then they found fingerprints on, um, I'll just say a wrapper in case there's some small children watching. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, he's backtracked on the story. So this, this evidence is mounting against him. Vicky, you're starting to sound like a real detective here, you know that? <laughs> I do my research. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you absolutely do. But it's, I think Roy is such an iconic character on the street. It is yeah. one of those things. It's like the, the Deirdre storyline all those years ago. It yeah. feels like the nation wants just to get behind him. Well, that's it. And, I think, and it's rightly so because... David has been, and Roy Cropper has been a huge part of the show, like you said, and he's a legacy character. He's almost like a, what would you say, a bastion of the community, mm. if you like. And he's he's much loved. So the, the public and obviously all the other characters in the street are, are rallying to his defence. Yeah. But is he innocent? Is he? Well, they're, they're sort of hashing up all of the old stuff as well, aren't they? There was the assault, wasn't there, back in, what year was that? Oh, I think it was 2014. Um, 2014. With the cricket with, bat. Yeah, with Gary Windass. Windass. Yeah. Um, and also I think that it's, when I first read the scripts with this, it's, it's quite, um, it reminded me of the, the Christopher Jeffries situation um, when it was Johnny Yates's murder and the public kind of, he was vilified, he was targeted. And it was, it, it, to me, it felt like it was the first time that we'd really seen the worst of social media. Mm. Um, so it was almost trial by social media with that. And I feel that for Roy, it's coming back to when he first perhaps started um, on the show and when he was introduced into the street because that creepy cropper and people, because of its eccentricities really, that, that people feel that because he's odd, then there's something very strange about him, so there's a possibility that he could have, he could have done it. How does it feel at acting your role, the central part of the person, sort of trying to bring him down? From an actor's perspective, it must feel great. It's quite it's exciting brilliant. to be part of such a big storyline. Oh, yeah, it's, it is. It's brilliant. And like I said, when I first read it, I thought, this is great. Um, and because as well, Corey do this so well in the, the hard-hitting storylines, you know, they really do... Uh, bring that to the fore and raise awareness, but also they signpost to to organisations that can help. But but going back to what you the, the question that you asked, um, I just I just love playing her because I've been really fortunate that I've been involved in so many of the hard hitting yeah. storylines, but in particular this one. Well, I was just going to say because you were only ever supposed to be there for like eight episodes, That's wasn't right. it? And yeah. here we are again. I mean, it's been it's been some sort of gritty stuff you've been involved in just because of the nature of the character, of course. Yeah. Um, so I was I was brought in for the hate crime storyline with mm -hmm. with Seb and Nina, and I genuinely did think it was the eight episodes and that would be it. So I just wanted to do the best that I could and obviously research and just build up this three-dimensional character as to who is this woman, why is she a detective, why is she in the police force and ask those questions. Mm. But also to make sure that it, it wasn't about my character um, and to just play with truth and, and authenticity. And with that, to speak for the victims as well. She very much feels that she is the voice of, of the victim mm. and she wants to get to the truth and she'll 
pretty much stop at nothing to achieve There's that. There's bound to be a few more twists in the next week or so. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, we'll see tonight that um, he is accused of assault by the woman who he's claiming to be Lauren's mum. Yeah, Alice. And yes. Dodgy. Well, you see, Dodgy. he's, just uh, he's not really there. helping himself because he just let this woman into his home and let her but stay. But that's Roy, that. you see, I this know, is the but, point. And that's, that's the other thing about Roy, um, and especially with the investigation, um, she's obviously thinking about it. Is anybody that genuine without some kind of ulterior motive? Mm. So, and she knows that anybody is capable of anything. Yeah, so, um, which is true. And if we didn't know him, we'd be agreeing with her. But yes. because we feel like we're invested in him, it's a different story, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's it's brilliant, isn't it? And it's going to run and run now. This isn't just going to disappear anytime soon. It's, no. It's going to be no. all about free Roy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, we'll, like we say, we'll see tonight that obviously he is, he's charged and he's remanded in custody. So. Well, he looks so crestfallen. And I know. Desperate. It's I think awful. it was the episode on Wednesday. He was, um, there was a scene with Nick and he was trying to pull him into the corner and to watch David and, and to see Roy Cropper in that situation is, is just, he's just brilliant. David is he's just a joy. He's a joy, I yeah. can imagine. Vicky, it's such a pleasure to meet you, honestly, right in the centre of this at the minute. It's just wonderful. Coronation Street, of course, continues tonight. 8 p.m. ITV1, you don't want to miss tonight. No. It's Absolutely a really, not. really big one. Okay, good luck with it all. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Intense, but worth <laughs> it.